Denzel McNabb is the fourth person investigators say is involved in a robbery and murder. He's charged in connection to the death of Colton Shearer. Police have also arrested three others in connection to the shooting. 28-year-old Terrarian Johnson, 21-year-old Alexandra Scherfler, and 20-year-old Jordan Coleman are behind bars. It's unclear exactly what role they played in the shooting. Now, as police continue searching for McNabb, Channel 4's Nicole Schneider joins us live in Green Cove after talking with a close friend. Nicole. It's still a very active scene out here. It's hard to tell, but behind me, the command center uh, is still up out here and deputies are still out here searching. Just about 30 minutes ago, we heard the helicopter fly over here. So they are definitely still out here in this wooded area searching for this man. And I talked to one of his close friends earlier today. She said she just wants this to come to an end quickly and she wants him to turn himself in. That's my best friend. Love him to death. I just, I just hope this ends soon. Louise Bird says she's known Ozell McNabb Jr. for eight years, and it's hard to believe he's connected to a murder. And he tried to call me last night, but I didn't answer. Like, if I would have known this was going on, like, like I, didn't, I, didn't, I had no idea. It was like 3 in the morning. This missed call is the last time she's heard from him. I'm trying not to cry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just scared for him. Dozens of deputies from the Clay County Sheriff's Office and surrounding counties have been looking for the 22-year-old all day. An incident report says McNabb, Johnson, and Coleman took off after a robbery and shooting around 2 a.m. this morning. Deputies say the incident happened at the home where Coleman and Schriffler live. Investigators say 18-year-old Colton Shear and two other people were with the four suspects when shots were fired. Deputies say Shear was shot in the stomach and another man was shot in the leg. Shear drove to a gas station to get help, and one of the people in the car tried to save him, but it was too late. It's like, I understand Colton's family's suffering, and, like, I'm sorry for their loss, but, like, can the suffering please stop? Just, like, just turn yourself in. That's all I want to do. And that other victim who is shot in the leg is at the hospital at Orange Park Medical Center. He is scheduled to have surgery tomorrow. And Clay County Emergency Management did send out an alert to the residents who live around here so they know why deputies are out here and are updated on the search efforts. And of course, if you know any information on where this man is or his location, please call the sheriff's office. For now, reporting live in Green Cove Springs, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.